this is old school tactical from flying big games we're looking at volume one the eastern front and we've just completed playing the brandenburgers scenario um right oh while we're here anyone's interested you see these little six millimeter miniatures here on 300 uh, that's a TK476 and that's a BA20 or BA10, I'm not sure, they, they look pretty similar. Um, so you could play with miniatures in theory, um, but it would be a bit clumsy. But uh, you've probably got the option of playing this game uh, on, a, on a miniatures board if you wanted as well. Now in terms of what it's like, I enjoyed this. Um, the actual scenario, I don't think, was a, a particularly good scenario. I wouldn't recommend it. It's not a, not a very fascinating thing, and uh, it's just basically Germans attacking. They've got better troops, better morale, a lot better support weapons, and they're trying to sort of capture these two control hexes here. Um, so they get victory points for that, whoever controls them at the end, which Russians control both of them at the end. Um, you had a victory point if they knocked out Russian leaders, they only managed to get one victory point, the uh, Germans, whereas the Russians, I think they got seven victory points in the end. Yeah. Um, I certainly wasn't playing this to the best strategy at all because just getting a grip on this impulse thing it's there's a hidden complexity in here um and there are optimal moves that i can sort of see but i'm not doing <laughs> but i'm not getting there yet it's not clicking yet but uh it's not surprising on the first game i thought um It went fairly well. Well, what I would say is I thought the, the amount of casualties was quite high. It's definitely, um, the, you get a lot more casualty reduction and, and uh, destroyed units than you do playing a similar game of, of, of ASL. Uh, now, I haven't got a problem with that because you probably abstract some of that in, in the sense that these units just basically give up they don't they may not all be dead they just they just disperse there could be a level beyond shaken or broken which is just totally ineffectual which would cover the the, the high casualty rate is as an abstraction ah uh, uh, as i say i like this i like it a lot more than they did asl i found that the one tricky bit is remembering to to reduce your impulse count impulse point counters on these tracks you've got to discipline yourself because you sort of see something and you go oh yeah i want to make that attack and then you made that attack without doing this you've got to discipline yourself to, to move those impulse point counters before you do anything otherwise you, you are in danger of forgetting um There wasn't much special about this game. There, there is a little armoured car here, which is pretty barely had any impact on the game. There's not something you could take out because there's no uh, well take out at range because there's nothing with armoured um, anti, anti armour piercing uh, capability. But you could have taken it out if you got in close in, in melee. Um, there was some cards the luck cards and that which brought in a uh, an airstrike which yet again is not not a complicated process or quite interesting um so definitely want to play this with a, a better more interesting scenario and also um with a lot more sort of things like armor and artillery and things like that let's just expand the game outwards now um i did say i'd have a look at lock and load tactical now whether i do that next or i'll give this another go 
I think it's probably wor worth giving this another go. We might have a look at. I have got the Stalingrad expansion for the Eastern Front, so we'll probably give that a crack. See, see how we get on with urban city fighting, which is probably a bit more um, easy to see what are good and bad moves because this a lot of the time you were fighting out in the open, uh, trying to get to these victory point X's, which which are exposed. Both of them were were in open ground. Um, the temptation to try and take them. <laughs> And expose yourself to to fire particularly there was a lot of fire coming from these couple of houses that were around and, and the, the forested hexes that were providing a decent amount of cover if i compare it to asl i think asl even though it's a, a more old school <laughs> well that's a bit of a say it's a it's an older game in terms of how it's designed it's, I think I, I like it a bit more than this impulse system at the moment um, because uh, this this can get very chaotic it's very difficult to control the battle I did find there was a lot of it depended on how your dice rolls went the Germans lost this I think early on because they had some terrible dice roll one thing I did find that, and I may be doing this wrong, that you, I was able to use this satchel charge over and over again. That 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 really did some damage to the Russians. I've looked it up. I can't see that satchel charges disappear after you use them. Same with grenade bundles. They seem to be there um, permanently. I'd have to double check that. It's certainly it's something that you don't get with ASL. So... Yet yeah, again, the thing that goes against ASL is just the ridiculous complexity. Whereas this is, it's simple, it's easy to digest the rules. Now, I was watching videos and I re-watched what I would call, the best videos definitely were the two by Stuka Joe that do the OST uh, showcase videos, one and two. The first time I tried to watch them, when I was learning the game, I found that they were a bit heavy because they, they, they're, they're quite long videos. And But the second time when I, I looked at them, when I'd already played the game for a bit, I found those that they're very, very good. Um, there's a couple of errors in them, but they've been pointed out in the comments and it's nothing, nothing uh, to write home about, really. You know, they're really good videos uh, and I re highly recommend them if you're going to try and get into the system. There are other videos out there that do playthroughs, which are also very, very good. A they're not AARs, they're actual playthroughs. The problem with them is you only see the stuff that's in that particular scenario, whereas you're not. Whereas at least Stuka Joe's, you're seeing all the different things. You're seeing armor, air stuff. I don't think it covers parachutes and things, landings and stuff like that. But it covers the, the mo most of the game. So yeah, uh, um, how would I score this? Probably um, seven out of ten. But I, I reckon that could be lower than it might be because of the scenario. I didn't. I wasn't that impressed with the scenario. Um, it was it it was sort of a you could see how both sides could definitely have won that uh, and my poor tactics didn't really help the Germans at all but um, yeah that that'll do for old school tactical uh, first test game and I think we'll uh, move to Stalingrad and have a look at that.